A bitch about to go broke. I'm glad I got a rainy day stash. Hey guys, Nikki here and I am back. Whoa, like a month later, okay? I have some very important information for you guys, so I hope you guys are interested in this video. Um, basically, it's dealing with the economy right now and how to stay afloat, especially, especially if you are a small business, contract, any of those kind of workers, okay? Um, I use my platform for beauty, um, health, if I can, personal hygiene and all that kind of stuff so i decided to help you guys out any way that i can um i know a lot of you guys want especially the surgeon general yeah he came and did an interview saying how he want influencers he was speaking on a much bigger scale can't even get it out he was speaking on a much bigger scale like kylie jenner and all them um to influence the importance of standing and stuff of the coronavirus but also youtube hit us up and was like now nah, we you can't give out information because nobody know what's going on and we're not knowledgeable enough to give information um so I can't speak directly on that um, besides stay in, wash your hands and sanitize, but I can speak on how to stay afloat right now. So, whew, that was a long intro. If you're interested in my business tips and money tips and all of that, please continue to watch. All right guys, so until we get back afloat i am gonna shout out a small business in every single video that i bring you guys i have plenty of content to bring you guys but my mind has to be right and my mind have not <laughs> i can't handle this my anxiety other problems and i have to feel good in order to get on camera or it's gonna you guys know i'm real goofy and etc and it's not gonna translate right if i get on here and i'm not myself so that's what took me so dang long um but today's small business is a t-shirt company <laughs> um, this one says Libra. It's dripping. Follow the drip. Okay. And I will put the person that made this shirt below. You can contact them. Okay. Epic Bows. You can contact them and anything you want custom, they can do it. Okay. They need it right now. They need it. The whole point of this video. So that is my small business shout out. So I am going to be bringing you guys a lot of content. I'm going to be really chatty because I haven't been on here in a while. I'm going to be all over the place because that's just me. But I'm going to give you guys some good information. So I haven't been on here in a while. So I do have tons of clothing to show you guys. Tons of everything to show you guys. But I just don't feel right coming on camera pushing showing products when the economy is like it is right now but you guys said via snapchat that you're still shopping and everything so i'm gonna do the videos for my sanity i have to do something besides laying in the bed like i'm tired of the bed i'm tired of sleeping i'm tired of napping i'm physically tired i never thought i would say i'm tired of not doing anything but i am so i'm gonna still bring that content out just wanted to give you guys a disclaimer because somebody's gonna go there right like who's shopping right now don't nobody care about fashion over right now but that's not true some people do so and i need to do the content to stay busy to keep my mind off things and to get it out basically so gosh y'all ready <laughs> all right so here's the thing i i i went from having several sources of income to having several sources of income stopped overnight now before the pandemic hit i had already stopped working i am so paranoid i just can't see myself doing makeup all in people's faces and etc and this is going around and nobody know how it's it's being spreaded okay so a week after i stopped working they legally closed my salon so boom that's when it hit thankfully i have been raising myself a long time because my mom died at a very young age and so i have a really hustle mentality i have a knock me down but i get back up mentality so i don't play with stuff like that a lot of you guys might not have that mentality so my first instinct was 
just like I've done all them years when I didn't have no help paying my bills, is to call everybody who I pay something to and see my options. You guys, everybody right now is going through the exact same thing you're going to. So if your company don't understand, there's a problem. But here is what you need to do, and I've seen a lot of videos on this, but I did all of this before the videos started hitting, is you need to call all of your creditors, your, your people you pay money to, your bills, and tell them that you were affected by the virus and you don't have any income coming in. You want to defer mint. Listen to me, guys. You don't want a payment plan. You don't want... Um, you don't want to set up a payment plan. You don't want to, what's another word I'm looking for? See, that's why I should have took notes, but this is real, real. I told you I'm going to be all over the place. Um, I think I did take notes. Boom. Okay, so let me just see what I put in here. Oh, yeah. So basically what you want to do is get them deferred. You don't want to get them, um, because... Prime example, AT&T has this thing where they won't cut your bill off. Um, you can keep making payment plans and they'll give you extensions. You don't want an extension. That's the word I'm looking for. You don't want an extension and you don't want a payment plan. You want a deferment or you want it waived. Let me explain the difference. Waive means if I call my cell phone company right now and they say they will waive two months of my bill, that means I will not have to pay them. They zero them out. If I call my cell phone company right now they said they would defer three months of my bills that means that i won't have to pay three months but when i pick back up on that third month my bill is not my bill is going to, going to be the regular amount it's not going to be three bills added up so if i pay four hundred dollars a month on my cell phone bill and i get it deferred for three months when that three months is up i will be paying the four hundred dollars a month not twelve hundred dollars three months three months stack if that makes sense so that's very important for you to say deferment or waive because what you don't want to do is when the three months is up you're in bigger depth because they stacked all them bills on top of each other okay every creditor or whatever all right the memory card hanging on y'all getting this knowledge so it cut me off basically what i was trying to say is you don't want to be dig a bigger hole than three months from now you have two thousand three thousand dollar bills because you got a payment plan or extension you don't want that you want to defer it or you want it waived okay that is step number one that's our problem that's what's driving most of us into anxiety it's drug <laughs> hello me is turn me up so if you can get your bills at least lord like if you if you pay 10 bills a month if you can get at least four people to defer your bills that lifts a weight off your shoulder now i remember seeing judy doing a video candy doing a video so i don't want to talk too much about that because that's not my line of work i just know what i did and what worked for me and honestly between us every single one of the companies i work i pay Except one allowed me to do it. And I'm cool with that one because it's an understanding, okay? <sighs> Y'all got that? Step number one, we're going to get those bills deferred. All right, so I'm going to go with step number two, which will fall together. I have my notes, so don't think I'm being rude. Use... No, 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 hold up. Sorry. I'm too excited. I got to give y'all this knowledge so we can all be good. Um, thumbs up for me spreading this knowledge with y'all. Stop frivolous spending and stay in the house. Now, you're supposed to be staying in the house anyway. But there are some people, I just got to get out the house. And where are you going? Walmart. Okay? Because that's really the only thing that's functioning right now. You're going to get in Walmart and see some stuff you didn't need. You're, if you're not getting groceries, there's really not a need for you to be in Walmart or a necessity, something around the house, light soil or something. But try to stay in. I know that's really, really hard, but when you get out anywhere, if anything is open, you're going to be tempted to spend because you're just out and you, you're you out. Um, and stop frivolous spending. Now, I just got through talking about how some people are still shopping. Everybody is not affected. Some people are still working. For you guys... You shouldn't be watching this because this is for small business owners and stuff, right? <laughs> no, but this all this information to help everybody. But there are some people that are still working. But if you aren't working, okay, if you are not working, stop spending. Get off fashion over, get off all that. I know I work for them, but hey, 
if you ain't working, you don't need to be spending no money right now. It's that simple. Okay, so let's bag it on back. Bag it on back. Do you guys remember about a year ago, I did a video on about how YouTubers spend frivolous money. They buy these cars and bags and don't even have a house. I'll link it right here. I don't even know which way I'm supposed to go because I ain't been on here in so long. Right here. And, um... That's a very important video to watch right now, too. So, here's the thing. When I am jumping, everybody thinks I'm so rich. They look at all the income coming in, but they don't realize all the bills and, and contracts and stuff I have with other things outside of, you know. So, my bills match my income, okay? So, a lot of people come to me when they need stuff. And to me, a lot of times you don't really need to borrow money from people. You just sit back for like a week or something. Okay, so I have no problem telling people no because, because at times like this, who's in my corner? You get what I'm saying? So I had money put aside, but guess what? If I was giving everybody who asked me for money at those times money, I wouldn't have a rainy day stash. So what would I be doing right now? It makes sense. I know it seems mean, but you cannot just give the money that you work hard to earn a way to everybody who asks for it or you will never have money and then when situations come like right now have no income coming in um are those people going to help me you get what i'm saying so basically that's a tip when you have money be very careful how you spend it loan it give it away now is the time to revamp your business work on your website work on your business card design and i know you guys are gonna say nikki all that costs money well business cards business card designs website designs might do but you got time you can figure out how to do it on your own right now change your pictures out i'm one of them my makeup by platinum site i can't even remember the last time i changed my pictures now is the time for me to do that i have downtime if you've been thinking about starting another business now is the time to start researching googling trying to find out where you can get your products how you can set up a website for it. how it's the time now you have nothing but time so then when we are out of this situation you'll be good a lot of websites you don't even really have to pay some of them um um like shopify and all of that that's how you can sell your products. I don't, I can't, Big Cartel, all of those products, I think it's free up until you load a certain amount of items on there. Now is the time for that. Get your business, get your LLCs if you need them, if you want them. Everybody don't want to be LLC. You can be a sole proprietor. Um, get your business straight right now. Now is the time in a way where you don't have to spend money. I'm not saying buy product and all that because you can't. I mean, I'm not saying you can't, but you shouldn't, I don't think. So, um, let's see. If you are shook it, and you, like, my makeup, the money I do doing makeup, make doing makeup has stopped but i do still have revenue from other things like some youtube sponsorships and google adsense still come in but some of you guys don't have that at all now is the time oh my jesus y'all think i erased my notes oh oh whoo girl sorry y'all now is the time for you to do your online seminars and classes i think it's zoom something like that um Fans only. I know a lot of you guys thought fans only was for XXX material. No. Um, now is the time for you to say, okay, I'm having a makeup class online. You can have everybody from all over the world pay you a fee to do whatever you do. I don't want to keep saying makeup, but that's what I do, so I'm going to keep referring to that. Now's the time for you to teach the online class. Now's the time. That's revenue. These people have to pay for that, and everybody's at home right now. So you have a bigger chance of have a bit, having a bigger audience watch you right now. So that's a tip. But, but, but what I also see a lot of people doing and said is I'm going to start my YouTube channel now. I'm going to run to YouTube. And this is not hating at all because I have, you know, quite a bit of a following and I've been on here a long time. But you cannot depend on YouTube for revenue. It is hard to get these views. You, I know you think everybody's at home and they're going to watch you. But if nobody really know you like that or you just starting a channel or you had a channel and neglected it, it's hard to build your views back up. And it's hard to build YouTube checks up. 
I'm not gonna even lie like it took a lot of views to get good checks so you can't just feel like you're gonna hop on YouTube and be rich next month now you can I can't doubt anybody ability um, I, what God has for you is for you but I'm just telling you that you can't just hop on YouTube today and think next month your check is gonna be big that's not how that work on YouTube especially if you're depending on sponsorships and stuff because a lot of the companies that sponsor us are in the same position we're in and they're not paying out right now they're not advertising right now so the sponsorships aren't booming and your Google money is based off of um, AdSense views so you got to have a lot of views not trying to discourage anybody I'm just trying to warn you that you're not gonna hop on here today and be a millionaire next month okay it's a small chance but I, it's not likely if that makes sense so here's another thing I'm seeing people doing and my clients are doing this and I'm not even asking. They're cash up me and they're PayPal me. They're like small business relief. And it makes, oh my gosh, it makes my heart flutter because like it's really some kind people in the world. And usually I will send that stuff back. I can't even lie. But now when I don't know when my next penny is coming in, I accept it. Now I have uh, witnessed a few people put it on their page. Hey, if you want to help a small business, here's my cash app. I don't feel comfortable doing that. But if somebody asks me, I'll give it to them. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to come on YouTube and make a whole video like, oh my God. I know the title was drastic, but I wanted you guys to click in the video and get this knowledge, okay? I'm not going to come on YouTube, y'all, my PayPal below, my cash up. I cannot do that. I don't even like approaching companies to ask for PR. They contact me because I feel like that's big. And so I dang sure can't do it for money. So, um, but some of you guys don't see anything wrong with that. So try that. And then I also saw on Facebook, one of my clients did a post and it said she's still working. So she said she's still going to pay her hairstylist, her nail tech, what she usually pay them every two weeks or whatever, because she knows it's hard for them. And now that right there, that she was dropped down here from God personally. Okay, because what's going to happen is when the economy get back right and things are, because it's going to get back right because we all got faith right. Um, I know some of y'all think it's the end of the world, but we ain't gonna even talk like that. When things do get back right, those people are gonna make sure they take care of her. Anytime she did a last minute appointment, a late appointment, an early appointment, they tired, they're gonna do it for her because she helped them out so much during this time. Does that make sense? So, if you feel like it, get your, y'all do it for your birthdays. Put a dollar in my cash up. I do it. I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with it. It's not... To me, there is no difference in you saying, hey, it's my birthday, cash out me a dollar, then you going to work, church, school, or whatever with them dollars pinned on your shirt. It's the same exact thing. So if you feel comfortable asking for money right now, do it. Okay, another thing you can do is anywhere in the world, you can pick up your phone, 211. 211. And tell them, I need help. Ma'am, what do you need help with? They help you with everything. They can find you clinics. You remember when I did my STD video? They can find you clinics. They can find you food banks. They can find you churches that'll help you pay your rent. They can find you everything. If you got a leak in your house right now and you're laid off, they'll find you plumbers, discounted plumbers and stuff. Call 211 and get the help you can get. No matter what phone you're on, it's going to reach out to the the area that you're in so my phone is a 469 area code which is dallas so it's going to automatically connect me to dallas it's a resource hotline basically and also use that for mental illness i know right now i feel so bad for anyone who's suffering from anxiety depression and stuff this is a tough time use those hotlines to get you through those free resources to get you through and that will loop me right on to government assistance you gotta let your pride down. If you one of those makeup artists, hairstylists, barbers, estheticians who don't have anything coming in, you qualify for food stamps. You qualify for TANF. You qualify for Medicaid and emergency food stamps at that. You literally can fill out an application online. Them people will call you today or tomorrow and give you that money ASAP. You don't have any income coming in. You gotta put your pride to the side 
and ask for that. Now, that's not the case if you have a spouse and they have income coming in or if you have a um, another job like me, I do makeup and YouTube. So, you know, they'll work around that. But I'm speaking of if you have zero income coming in and you don't have a spouse who income they can count. Does that make sense? Call them people, y'all. Use that stuff because it's some people that sit at home every day and don't work and try to work or nothing and use the stuff. And you out here busting your tail every day and you got shut down by law. Use the benefits. That's what they're there for. Okay, let's see. Talk to other small business owners about plans and help. Guys, I have gotten so many links of organizations that's helping sources that's helping right now talking to other business owners there's loans out here for us there's unemployment which i'm going to roll into for us there's grants out here for us but you'll never know that unless you talk to other people in the industry it's time to network and get a circle going um so you can see share the knowledge share the knowledge now's not the time to be like holding knowledge back and not wanting people to know stuff no because people are really suffering right now so try that and then the last thing I want to get a, um, I want to address before I hop back on unemployment is my last point is um, don't stress and panic leading to health problems. Right now, that's real hard to say. I have an app I have downloaded. It's a meditation app. Um, it's good for anxiety and stuff. And the reason why I say that is because what you can do is really ruin your health, stressing and having anxiety over what's going on right now. And then when it's time to get back to work, you're going to be unhealthy. So try to, you know, keep your mind flowing, meditate, still work, work out, read a book, watch YouTube, whatever you got to do to stay sane. So I know this video is really long, but y'all taking notes or what? Am I helping y'all or not? Nah? Okay, so let me just make sure quickly that I went over all of my notes and then I'll jump into unemployment and sources that will help you um, besides the stimulus check. Now, oh, yeah. I'll be back. We're gonna talk. Alright, so let's help on uh, let's talk about money, okay? How you can get some money in. <laughs> the stimulus check. We all know that that stimulus check is coming. I'm gonna do a real brief one minute briefing on this. Um, y'all ready? Let's go. All right, so $1,200 if you're single, $2,400 if you're married, $500 each additional child, but there's an income bracket, okay? If you made over $75,000 single, $150,000 married, they take $5 away for every $100, I want to say, over that amount, right? Here's the things you need to know. Real simple. You're not going to get it if you owe child support. Um, you will get it if you get Social Security and all of that. It will go to the address they have on file if you filed your 2019 taxes. If you did not file your 2019 taxes, it will go to the address you had on file when you filed your 2018 taxes. If you haven't filed any, run to your local tax preparer and file both in order to get that stimulus check, okay? They are not keeping the check if you have any offsets such as restitution, um, student loan or anything like that but they are keeping it if you have child support um it will come to the address on file i think i want to say that or to get direct deposited into the last bank you had on file if that has changed call the irs and get all that changed it's not easy to get you to the irs right now so be prepared to hold but you ain't got shit else to do so make sure you get your check and whew, what i miss y'all it's coming it's coming. I know a lot of guys is complaining about the amount, but some is better than nothing. Okay, we're going to move on from there. If you have any questions about that, leave it in the comment. Also, if you can answer any questions, answer other people's um, questions in the comment. All of this stuff, except the stimulus money, vary by state. Um, so, I'm speaking from Texas, but check your local, your local, your state to see how the rules apply to your state. Okay. That's the first about money that we got coming in, all right? Everybody, unless you one of those situations I just explained. So, unemployment. They have open unemployment up for self-employed people. Like, what? Um, it's based off your income, your 2018 tax return bank accounts. I mean, bank account. Um, but they are giving between $400 and $600 additional every week. But, there's a disclaimer, as of right now, the date is, I don't even know what date is, the second. They 
are denying all applications until the money get in. So here's what you do, boo. You go ahead and fill out the application. I will leave the link to Texas online because I don't know the other states. The server is breaking. Over 6 million people worldwide have filed for unemployment. So the server is breaking nonstop. So what's happening is they're telling you to call. When you call, you can't get through or they're telling you to go to the website. So it's like you're playing hopscotch. Like, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Like, you go on the website. They say call. You call. They say go on the website. I can tell y'all this because I already did it. <laughs> it took me three days. You got to wait till everybody sleep. Wait till about 3, 4 in the morning. Get on that website. And right now they are open on Saturdays. Texas only. Well, not only. I'm speaking of Texas. From 8 to 5. Call on Saturday. I got in. No problem. Found. They told me to start doing my claims a certain date. I have zero income and unemployment money because I didn't get wages from an employer, a W-2, or anything like that. But when the money come in for the self-employment, they will contact us, tell us what we need to send in, and start paying us then. So if they deny you, do not panic. As long as you file taxes on your self-employment business, or as long as you have a bank account showing where you had the money coming in, they will allow you to prove that soon, and you can start getting your money. Any questions about that? Leave them below. But I can only answer what I know, and I can only answer Texas rules. All right, guys. So if you're tired of hearing me talk, exit stage. Left. All right. But if you want this knowledge, I'm gonna keep going. But I'm gonna be reading quite a bit because there's some things I didn't cover um, that I think would be good for you guys. Also, and I'm getting hot. Wait, where does this clip come from? Bitch. Okay, so things you need to know if you are a tenant and you pay rent, the government is saying you do not have to pay rent and they are banning evictions. Okay, um, you still need to do whatever you got to do to pay this rent though. There are major repercussions when eviction bans are lifted. Don't think you're getting a free ride, pay your rent if you can. All right, to homeowners, the governments are telling banks to stop mortgage. Still do whatever you can to pay your mortgage. Some lenders are saying they don't have to pay for three to four months. All four payments are due in full at the end of that month. I already went over that. Okay, if the utility company suspends payments, you better pay the amount you can. The bill will be stacked at the end. Um, if you get a government stimulus check, this check is to help pay your bills. Oh, how did I forget to say that? Yeah, this ain't the time to be going to get no Jordans and all that kind of stuff. Those stimulus, che stimulus checks are to help you pay bills and to stay afloat right now. Um, no frivolous spending with that. Pay your rent, your mortgage, your utilities, your insurance, your car payments, all that kind of stuff. Because at the end of all of this, when the bans are lifted, the realtors and stuff still have the right to evict you. All right. So, this is some information about unemployment. Um, gig workers and freelancers, the bill expands. This is the bill, Trump bill, whatever it's called. Some benefits and grants to independent contractors such as Uber drivers, freelance film editors that normally only um, that normally go only to employers or small businesses. For example, it extends unemployment benefits to self-employed, independent contractor, freelancer, non-traditional workers, and... Uh, Anyone who is unemployed partially due to the COVID-19, it's a $600 a week, did I say four to 600 a week increase on top of current levels of unemployment benefits for four months. Independent contractors also can apply for the $349 billion for small businesses and for $10 10 billion set aside for the emergency economic industry disaster loan fund. All right. So that brings me to um, the loans and stuff. How did I forget that? The loans and stuff you can apply for. Be very careful with them because they are loans. Small Business Association is doing it. I will leave the link below. And they're actually offering, um, what do you call it? Um, emergency, ex well, they'll give it to you right away. I can't remember what it's called. But the SBA is doing that. But remember that is a loan and you're going to have to, Prove your business and send them quite a bit of information. And if you are a cosmetologist and have a license number or a hairstylist, I couldn't do it because makeup artists don't have a license number. There's another organization that's giving out $500 grants. I will leave that below also. I'm not going to go into them because you can go on those websites and read everything on how you can read this last status and then I'm going to be done. If I left something out, I just had because I've been talking a long time and 
I, I think I've covered most of it, but it said, so I just learned when you call your creditors, mortgage lenders, utilities, etc., ask for help due to loss of income. If you just say you've lost, girl, I can read y'all. If you just, if you say, I guess I can't. If you, all right, let's try this again. See my, my memory card. It's like, girl, you can read better than that. Start the hell over and cut me off, all right? It say, if you just say you've lost work, income, job, shows, cancellations, whatever, they cannot help you. Once you say, I have no income due to the coronavirus, that's the key word they need to hear, COVID-19, to be able to enact their new policies, defer payments, halt late fees, and et cetera. I already said that. And apparently, they cannot coach you to say that, okay? You have to do it yourself just so you know for everyone oh the companies have these policies in place already use them use and abuse no i'm just playing don't abuse girl don't i yet hear me say that <laughs> but yeah i hope i helped y'all i've been trying to get this video out to you guys for almost four or five days and i wanted to get it out before other people got videos out so y'all won't say you just saying everything somebody else said so i'm gonna prove in my notes that i had these notes in here since march 20 march 20 <laughs> so y'all want me to say so and so just said that you just now nah, i've been trying to help y'all since march 20 just didn't have the energy focus on me <laughs> I just have didn't have the energy to get up and record because I um let me tell y'all let me tell y'all if you still hanging out you can hear our list you'll see it in my vlog y'all okay I got a vlog coming up and it's gonna explain everything I've been going through I went from not having a cycle for eight months to having one um anxiety attacks and then my acid reflex start messing up. I got anxiety thinking about having to go to the hospital. So, I have really been trying to get you guys this information because I want all my booze to stay afloat. I don't care what y'all say about me. I'm going to look out for my people, whether it's the cheap makeup, your vaginal needs, and now how to stay afloat, all right? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave everything you can do that I didn't mention below, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye.